all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back updates and information as you the heart. in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first to take it let's go down to the news of the day proper good morning uh, my wonderful subscribers all over so freedom all over the world and the head man at the mic and the moon. Yeah. <laughs> IPOB restates call for referendum opens liaison office in Italy. Uh, this is the current information. What is happening uh, right now in the IPOB family that they have uh, restates call for their referendum and has also opened a liaison office in Italy. And according to them, that this office is going to serve as a medium and avenue of other legal processes and paper matters that concerns uh, the members of the indigenous people of Biafra. Uh, but whether Mazen and the Kano Ahmadike one of Ndibo knows about this is what I don't know. Uh, but let's go down to why and the full details of this information. The indigenous people of Biafra on Sunday restate its call for a referendum in its ongoing agitation for a separate state of the Igbos. This was contained in a statement issued by the group's spokesman, Emma Powerful, who also disclosed the opening of its office in Italy. Powerful said, We are moving quickly towards the restoration of Biafra's independence and sovereignty through a referendum. He further noted that the Italy office would serve as an official link for diplomatic engagement for its members around the world as they pursue their quest for the rebirth of the Biafra referendum. He said, The global family, a movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, heavily led by the leader Maz Nam de Kano, wished to announce to Biafrans, friends of Biafrans, and lovers of Biafra freedom from across the world that IPOB has opened a liaison office in Padova, Italy. He also salutes the IPOB family in Europe for adding the Italy liaison office to the number of liaison offices on the continent. The IPOB Italy liaison office shall serve as a contact office for IPOB members. The purpose of setting up Biafra liaison offices is primarily to explore and promote the Biafran cultural heritage, trade, investment, and economic development for the people of Biafra. The liaison office also serves as a communication center for Biafrans. It is also an official link for diplomatic engagement for our people around the world as we pursue our quest for the rebirth of Biafra nation. We are in the know that IPOB leadership strategically positioning Biafra for the final restoration push. We are moving quickly towards the restoration of Biafra's independence and sovereignty through a referendum. Biafrans, and particularly IPOB, are fully committed to restoring Biafra's sovereignty. It is either Biafra or Biafra or Biafra. No retreat, no surrender. As a media platform, we hold leadership accountable and will not trade the right. Um, I see they go, I see they go, I see they go. When I don't see <laughs> um, the current information, we will see it day on now. I see Mazi, Emma Powerful, don't, don't make move. Um, and don't make move. Go see in one, uh, they don't open Biafra uh, Lazen office in Italy. Uh, they say that that office go to serve for plenty, plenty things. Uh, will be say it concern the indigenous people of Biafra, according to the matter. Will be say a day for my table. Now the new move, uh, we um, in my powerful the move. Uh, me, I come to ask. I've been uh, waiting that they do now a competition. I've been a uh, copy, copy, copy me. I copy you. <laughs> if it be you, uh, if it be uh, you know say. Uh, uh, this gone October, uh, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, Maze Simon Eber, uh, did wonders in Finland. 
and um, the whole world came to witness it both white black uh, both uh, uh, Biafrans all over the world you know gathered in finland to witness that epoch making event uh waiting that they talk you nobody know, say uh, you do this you do this but evidence day you show evidence <laughs> You know, say uh, if evidence no day uh, na explanation, na go they follow up, oh, and I ain't they say they play my people, they say when I go explain tire, oh. <laughs> and so they do. So anything where you know they you they do uh, evidence no day uh, na explanation, na ain't go hire you, na ain't go wala you. Oh. <laughs> they say all of na gotta go do jazz, you know what for you. They say you go explain tire. <laughs> You they walk, you know they show for your life. They say you go explain tire. So I see they be um yeah, my point be say if like say uh uh na explanation cha but well, let's keep looking and see uh, where this thing is actually going. I want to know if there will be a place where River Benue and River Niger we meet together, you know. <laughs> uh, because if River Benue and River Niger meet together, that means it's peace. Uh, because it looks as if uh, the house of the IPOB because for me I think um I like stating the facts and I like telling you what is currently going on and what is happening. If you can look at this matter this way, you will be able to think. I, I don't want you to be biased, be logical in your thinking. Let's look at this matter now. I don't side anybody for now, but let's see uh, what is happening in the house of the IPOB whereby. Emma Powerful has his own team, call them IPOB. Master Simon Eba is pushing on the other side uh, with Biafra Republic government in exile. Now, the question that is in your mind is Manji Kotama Milono, Ndibo Gwa Ndibo. Access to Ndibo Gwa Afa, Oba Afufu. And Anya Bife, and Ibiya Tuna Nya Nyo Pu, Nyo Mye Nye Nyo Mye, Funa Odi Sokwa. And uh, as is a dinu, who now allow by Gillian Gwangwa, Ndibo Gwaka Ndibo, Ibianesiana, a funa, Ndibo no one fade Tisiana, a mamma in our now. Now, my question being that, how is this thing going to work out <laughs> at the end of the tunnel? Because it looks as if everybody has, has created their own tunnel and people are walking through that way. Now, the final question is, at the end of this tunnel, how are these rivers going to join together? When I say, uh, na give one na give one, na give one on what give? What is the lay? Go as they are no. You will lay lay. Imagine it. Go challenge they are no. Man, but two years jail time for impersonating U.S. soldier. All set. Hello. The Kaduna Zona Zona Command of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission. On Monday, November 20, secured the conviction and sentencing of one Jesse Kassa, alias Davon Smith, when <laughs> he was sentenced to two years imprisonment. Kassa was found guilty of impersonating a U U.S. military man and ticket salesman on Facebook, the one uh, Kathleen Morgan. According to investigation, Kassa used his identity to defraud his victim in the process. He was jailed by Justice Daru Kobo of the Kaduna State High Court, Kaduna, after pleading guilty to one count bordering on impersonation upon being arranged by the state EFCC command. This was disclosed via the handle of the anti graft agency in late Monday tweet on X, formerly known as Twitter. Uh, when I don't see as that one, they happen. Uh, now somebody saw no, and they carry put inside there. Make kuna watch and well, well, oh. Make kuna nyoko put some well, well, oh. Hmm. Yeah, before you go, you go, uh, go be another thing. They say Anambra changes pilgrimage route for intending pilgrims. Let's see as it go. The Anambra state government, through the state pilgrims welfare board, has changed its Christian pilgrimage route from Israel to Rome and Greece for intending pilgrims. So no Israel that they go again. This following, uh, this is following the war between Israel and Hamas which has led to several casualties and unrest. The notification to that effect was contained in a press statement signed by the senior special advisor to the state governor on pilgrims, Felicia Ozoma, and the principal executive officer of the board, Obiora Mweke, on Monday. The board said Rome and Greece 
were selected because they hold immense historical and spiritual significance, offering an opportunity for profound experience and deeper connection with Christian faith. The statement read, we worship this uh, we hope this message finds you well. We are writing to you with an important update regarding our upcoming pilgrimage due to the current situation in the region, particularly the ongoing Israel Hamas conflict, the Anambra State Christian Pilgrim Office, in consultation with the National Christian Pilgrim Commission in Abuja, Nigeria has decided to alter our pilgrimage plans instead of traveling to Israel as initial planned. We will now embark on spiritual enriching journey to Rome and Greece. This change in destination ensures your safety and peace of mind during the sacred pilgrimage. We are excited about the rich cultural heritage and the spiritual encounters that await us in these destinations. We understand that this change might bring about some adjustments, but we are committed to ensuring that your pilgrimage remains a feeling and meaningful journey. Please indicate your interest in visiting Rome and Greece so we can make proper arrangements and documentation. Uh, this one is coming from Anambra pilgrimage. They say uh, this time, uh, no be Israel, they go again, no sin and Greece and Rome. Now they will go this time. Mwa, campaign, you are the as we and you uh, for the Augustine meet again.